In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do God rays in Maya 2018 using Arnold. So I created a spotlight. The way you create a spotlight is found underneath Create Lights Spotlight. See? And it's right here. Since I already have one created, I'll delete that. And we're going to give ourselves a quick render. So go to Arnold, Render View. And it still doesn't want to open, so let me close Maya. I'll reopen it and try it again. Okay, so let's try it again. Poly modeling, polygon plane. And giving us a little beach ball of death. So there's the polygon plane that I just created. I'll go to create lights, spotlight. I'll rotate it straight down so it's facing the ground. And I'll give ourselves a quick render. So Arnold, render view. Okay. Click play. So we can't see anything right now because we don't have any sort of exposure on this light source. So exposure is how we increase the intensity of a light, of all lights inside of Arnold. So you simply press Control A to go into your spotlight. I'll click on Arnold and right here I'll increase the exposure to 5. So there you go. There is our spotlight. Now you have cone angle which changes how wide that shape is. You have penumbra angle, which softens the edge, wider or smaller, and then you have the drop-off, which is how much light is actually reaching the surface. <coughs> All right. So as I go much smaller, it's like a little beam of light. For this particular tutorial, um, I'll keep it at zero. Okay. So. Let me make this render a little bit smaller. First things first, we need to go into our uh, render settings. So, window, window, rendering editors, render settings. And we're going to introduce um, an environment. So, we go to Arnold Render, Environment, and then we'll click on. We'll click on um, atmosphere. Click on atmosphere. I'll click on the create AI atmosphere volume. Okay. So in your attribute editor, you're going to see these columns. So there's the density, color, attenuation. Right now, we're just going to focus on density. So I'll change this to a value of 0.1, and there you go. See that? It allows us to see the volume of the light source. If I change this to 0.05, it's going to become softer. So the smaller the values, the less of the volume that you can see in the light source. All right, so 0.05 is fine. You can change the color if you want, red. <laughs> yellow, green, right? All of these colors. So I just keep it at white for now. And now um, that we have the atmosphere volume there, we're gonna close our render settings. I'm gonna click on my light source and in the attribute editor, I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see this thing called light filters. So we'll click on the add filter and we'll click on the AI gobo. So I have to double click on my AI gobo and this is what I see here, right? AI gobo. So there's a slide map which is color, the density. So if I change this to it's a value of 0.1. It's going to do the same exact thing as 
the environment, but the real trick is to add a texture to this um, slide map. So on this slide map there's a color and then to the right of the color is this little checkered box. I'll click on that and I'm going to find let's say something like a uh, fractal. And now let me zoom in a little bit closer you can see that under the fractal we're getting these rays, right? God rays. And not to mention, you also see the image of the fractal on the ground. Okay, so if you wanted to uh, change the way this pattern looked on the ground, that's when you change the settings underneath your fractal in your attribute editor. So again, I'll just click on the light source and you could see under your spotlight, if I scroll down, there's the Arnold tab that we expand. Scroll down even further, and we added a, an AI Gobo. So here's my AI Gobo one. You don't need to create two of them, all right? So I'll double click on my AI Gobo. It takes me into the AI Gobo tab in the attribute editor, and then I clicked on the slide tab checker pattern and it I selected a fractal so here's my fractal here I could change the amplitude all right which grays out that particular image so the higher the value the more contrast you'll see on the floor okay if I change the threshold you notice in this little sample space it will affect the values so now at a value of one, it's white. At a value of zero, again, it's more um, the greater values, right? So there's white and black. And then you have the ratio, which is how, I guess, like densely packed those particles are. You have the frequency ratio, which kind of like scatters that. and. And what's more important than what's uh, displayed on the ground is, you know, obviously your God rays. That's why you're using the fractal. So as you change the ratio, as you change your frequency, your level man and your max level, it will change the way the God rays appear. And that's pretty much it. If you wanted to animate it, Actually, turn that on. You can right mouse click on time, set key, go to frame like 25, change this value, right mouse click, set key, and then you could have your God rays being animated. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually being animated. So, yeah, that's how you create God rays in Maya using Arnold.